So, was your brother convinced? If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Richard, why are you doing this? I already told you, I was planning on attacking Lant. I'm doing this for you, Asbel. Remember when I promised to help you reclaim your homeland? I never asked for this, Richard! Oh, I know, but... I decided to do it anyway. The people of this land must understand that there will be no mercy for those who defy me. No mercy? It seems like that's the only thing you ever talk about anymore. What you're doing is wrong! So be it then. Before I proceed to deal with Lant, it appears that I'm going to have to deal with you first. Sharia, take the others. Round up as many townspeople as you can and get them to safety. Hurry, while we're talking. Once the fighting starts, it'll be too late. <laughs> All right, Asbel. Come on, Sophie, let's go. No, I'm staying. Come on! Asbel! Asbel! I will ask you one more time, Asbel. What is it that I have done wrong? I thought that you of all people would always understand me. You should know better. You can't control people through violence and fear. Nothing good ever comes of it. If that's the kind of ruler you are, then we'll never have true peace. Please, listen to me. Go back to the way you were. You're serious. How disappointing. Everyone has betrayed me. And in the end, even you have! Hubert! Is that really Richard? How... How can he be so strong? Oh, let's go. There's that light, just like before. Not see you again. How long do you plan to stand against me? This music is so good. Dude, that cutscene is hype. I love it. You 
betrayed me. You... You betrayed me! I love that cutscene. Definitely one of my favorites. Hey Richard, how you doing? Time to do this. This fight shouldn't be too hard. I am playing a Sophie though, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, I'll probably switch off her when we need to heal. I didn't really get to uh, combo off that. Oh, we got Hubert here too, which is amazing. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, you can just like juggle Richard here. Richard fights are never really that hard here. Who is has Hubert? Oh, we're looking on your arts, Hubert. Aqua Bullet, Scarlet Salvo. I like Cross Mirage right there. Richard, no! Stop this! Not my brother! Behold my cross mirage. I cannot believe that hit. That did not, though. What happened there? Alright, well, I guess I'll get Aspel up because Sophie can't get a rejuvenate off. Aspel! Sophie, when you get the chance, get Asbel up. That was on Sophie. I cannot believe that was on Sophie. I will erase you. Yeah, yeah, you'll erase me. There we go. That hit me. I guess my uh didn't last long. Oh, goodbye, Sophie. Come on, Sophie. Stay up for a little bit. No, you don't. Scarlet Salvo spam. Sophie, I really need you to get Asbel up before I just decide to kill Richard. That's what I really need. Just use a life bottle. Die. You're so close, Richard. Flare shot, go. Ow. Okay. I'm gonna have to get Sophie up. Oh, yo, let's go! Die. Die. Good finish. Dude. Oh, I didn't even finish him? Oh, it's so lame. I wanted Stampede Strike to finish. But also, that was so awesome how Sophie just sword assaulted at Richard, which in turn dodged the Shade Imperial. That was so good. That was a really nice um, AI maneuver from Sophie I didn't expect. I also really wish that Stampede Strike finished him there. Would have been more climatic, IMO. These cutscenes are so much louder than the normal game. Which is why I'm glad I dialed them down. They're still pretty loud. Damn you. Your Majesty, you must withdraw. All men, fall back. <sighs> that was hype though. I really like the cutscene uh before the Richard fight. Sophie, are you all right? Hold on. I'm fine. I remember now. I remember you. 
every one of you. When you were young, Hubert was shy, but he tried his best and always worried about everyone. Sheria was sick, but that didn't stop her from being cheerful and friendly. And I remember Asbel. He was strong and kind. He always protected me, no matter what we faced. It's... good to see you. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Lieutenant! Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. What's the situation outside? Windor's army has retreated from the city, along with King Richard. Deploy men to defend the gates immediately. Do not pursue Windor. Yes, sir. I failed to protect anyone again. That's not true. You protected me, Asbel. You saved me. Just like you did when you were a child. I don't remember much, but still I'm glad. And yet, I wonder why. I'm scared for some reason. I'm afraid to search deeper and remember my past. Sophie. Oh, I bet this is the end of the chapter because it's a it asks you to save. I bet when it asks you to save like this, it's most likely a chapter end. And as for Windor, large numbers of their troops remain deployed on the high roads leading to Grailside and Barona, so they could easily stage another attack. However, the Fendolians have shown recent signs of activity as well. We've deployed a squad to the Fendel border and are increasing our surveillance. If they plant something, we won't be caught off guard. Oh, and Lieutenant, what was that light that appeared during the last battle? You need not include those details in your report. Might I ask why? It could be a new weapon developed by the enemy. Official reports are no place for guesswork and speculation. Very well. But we still have to consider the Creus issue. Our higher-ups are demanding that we increase production in the Creus mines, and yet nothing has been done. We lack the manpower to do it ourselves. And I will not force the people of Lant into hard labor. We are not here as a conquering force. We are their allies. I suppose that's one way of putting it. However, you appear to be prioritizing the local people over the orders of our superiors. You only think that because you still see me as a wayward orphan from Lant. But isn't that precisely what you are? I am a soldier of Strata. I cast aside my homeland seven long years ago. Or rather, they cast me aside. And thus explaining why Hubert... Oh, man! I don't think we can get any closer! 
thus explaining why Huber acted that way. Again, I get where he's coming from, but I still think Huber was very childish about this whole thing. Like, oh, Asbel, uh, uh, show me what you learned at the Night Academy, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, you will leave Launt, etc. It was just like, you know, definitely Huber being a little childish, but I do get where he's coming from, but that doesn't mean, like, I justify his actions. It doesn't look like they're crossing the border. They're probably worried about Strata. What will you do now, Asbel? Just what I can. I, I have to ensure that Launt isn't swept into another battle. And then there's Sophie. She died seven years ago. She died protecting us. And Sophie's having a staring contest with that frog? But now she's back, and not a year older. I may not understand it, but I'll make sure we don't lose her again. Yeah, and we're totally gonna help. Right, Mr. Captain? Of course. Thank you. Well, we came to investigate the Thandelian army, and we've done that. Let's head back into town. Agreed. Come on, Sophie. It's time to go. Can we visit the meadow? Go ahead. Pascal and I will meet you in town. Okay. Let's go, Sophie. And the meadow it is! Field trip time! The one in the same. One in the same, rather. This is probably the title that gives you the mystic art. It is Critical Blade. Let's go. As for Asbel here... Infernal Torrent. Soon I'm gonna get Infernal Torrent. I don't wanna get it right now. I'll get you the bench stuff just in case. I'm gonna be using Asbel a lot, but I'll probably wanna take him out at some point. Where am I now? I'm near the Fendelian border. Watermelon? Why? Oh yeah, you can like have characters wear the watermelon. I don't know why, but you could. Alright, so we go to Lot Hill. There's gonna be a skit on the way. These enemies are really weak, so I'm not gonna bother fighting them. Some great stuff because now I really feel like again the Graces stuff with Richard was really good, like with Cedric and everything. Graces is gonna finally like it's gonna start picking up a lot more. Like that cutscene hype was real. And we'll get into more of like why I like this game and everything. I mean, I still love the beginning of this game, don't get me wrong, like, we'll, you'll start to see, like, oh, like, things picking up a bit. They do pick up a bit starting now. I would actually say, like, the end of, like, the Richard saga, where, like, Walbridge onward kind of picks up. Maybe, like, fighting Cedric and then onward kind of picks up, IMO. I can't believe it's true. You really are the same Sophie. But it is true. Oh, I know. But there was a part of me that was sure I'd never see you again. It just makes me so... happy. Being able to remember you makes me happy too. But everyone has grown so big. And I'm still... Uh-oh. She must be bothered that she hasn't developed at all in seven years. Don't you worry, Sophie. Even if your height and such haven't grown, you're still the same old Sophie to us. And such? What else is there? Oh, uh, sorry. And nothing at all. <laughs> um... Asma, you've said too much. 